Hey, good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, Rose. Good evening. Ruth, good Carla. Evening. Hello, Roxana, Carla Olivia. Mm, Anna, William. Good evening, teacher. Jenny is as a listener tonight. Hello, Anna Garcia. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hello, Emma. <laughs> okay, Hi, Steph good evening. Hi, good evening. Now I can see Stephanie is just trying to get into the class. Hello, Stephanie. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Okay, let us wait a little bit. Let me see. It's a, a minute after eight, after nine, sorry. You know, we're going to be over here during uh, 60 minutes. Well, and I think I will check list attendances Thank you. just right now. Okay, tonight is Wednesday, September the 20th, 2023, right? Right. Pretty good. Now say hello when you listen to your name. Abigail. Abigail. Ana Maria. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Maria Emily. Carlos David. Carlos David, are you there? Daniela Alejandra. Hello, Daniela. Daniela, are you there? Uh, Diana Sarai. Emma Devona. Okay, Emma is over here. Thank you, Emma. Uh, Eva Margarita. Eva Margarita, Gabriela Lisette, Jacqueline Janet, present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Joana Guadalupe, present. Carla Olivia, present teacher. Thank you. Melissa Giselle. Raul Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Elizabeth. Uh, Rosa Feliciana. Present teacher. Okay, Roxana Yanira. Present teacher. Ruth Noemi. Present. Saira okay. Abigail. Sara Vanessa. Silvia Noemi. Hello, Silvia. Stephanie Carolina. Present teacher. Swani. 
Present. Wilder. Present, teacher. William. William Present. Vladimir. Okay, William Present. Vladimir. Okay, very good. William Alfredo. Uh, Jancy Stephanie. Mm. Jancy Stephanie. I'm here. Okay, Jancy Stephanie here. And finally, we have Jenny. Jenny Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, Jenny is over here. Well, we're gonna start as, as soon as possible with the activities for tonight. We're gonna try to get familiarized. I have um, Ana Guimara, Diana Sarai. Well, I'll check it later. Okay, let's see what's coming now. Simple past, just no quick activity we started with yesterday. Do you remember this? We saw this video yesterday, right? Yes, no questions in simple past. We saw the exercise, the knowledge check. And uh, right now, well, we have something else. And there is a goal here. It says that by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Yes. Okay, summer activities is coming. We're gonna see. Now, let's see what's coming on with uh, some expressions here. Like, for example, here you have hiking, swimming. You saw go hiking, go swimming. But what about have, meet, play, see, and take? Listen. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Go, have, meet, play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking. You can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion forums. Have fun. Have a picnic. Okay, people. Now, do you see some info there? Like, uh, how do you say this in English? What? Uh, how do you say this in English? A class. A class. Now they say go, go a class, have a class, meet a class, play a class, see a class, take a class. What is the expression? Take. Take a class. Take a class. Fun. Have fun. Have fun. Hiking? Go hiking. Go hiking. Is there, right? A movie? See, see, a movie. see a movie. See a movie. New people? Meet. Meet, meet new people. Meet new people. Old friends? Meet old friends. Okay. A picnic? Uh, have, have a picnic. picnic. Have a picnic? Pictures? Take. Take, Take pictures. A play? Play. A play. Go play. Go. Mm. Have, have a play. Have, have a play. 
Okay, maybe swimming. Go swimming. Go swimming. Tennis. Play. Play tennis. Play volleyball. Play volleyball. Say play volleyball, right? So this is some vocabulary that it may be somehow useful for the activities that are coming now. So, summer activities. Okay, I have a reading that's going to be at the end. We're going to read it at the end. Now, I just want to continue like having some review about what happened yesterday. Yesterday, remember that we were like talking on how to create questions with simple past. And we discovered that we, in order to get questions or to have questions, we need to use the auxiliary. Where is the auxiliary? Did. did. The auxiliary did. And we also discovered that uh, when having the auxiliary did, we are going to have the verb in the in base. Present. Present. Uh, in present or in the base form. You see, did. Like, did go? Hey, did Erica go? Yeah. Did Erica like? Did you play? Did you have a good summer, etc.? Okay, so that's what we started yesterday. And now, well, yesterday I told you about about creating a, a I mean, uh, or or telling us about your vacation time yes yes hope you did hope you did but before going to that part let me try to introduce some more vocabulary there mm. <sighs> let me see i will stop sharing this and i will start sharing something else Okay, so let's try to to get more familiarized with the activity that's coming. Okay, do you see do you see the info? Yes, teacher. Yeah, what is the topic? Summer memories. Summer memories. Summer memories, right? So we, I will ask you a couple of questions about <laughs> about vacation time. Hey, do you spend time by the sea? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> Okay, yes, you did. Okay. Yes, you did. Did you pick up some flowers? No, you didn't. No, I said, no, I didn't, no, right? I didn't. Hey, did you climb mountains? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. no you didn't. Did you take photos? Yes, yes I did. I did. Yes, you did. I did. Yes, yes, you did. Yes, you did. What about did you buy something new for your house? Did you buy something new for your house? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Were you caught by the thunderstorm? To the thunderstorm? No, I didn't. No. Mm -hmm. No. Where no. uh, remember that this is the verb to be, right? In the passport. Hey, were you caught by the thunder sun? They say, No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Oh, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. That's it. Hey, did you watch the sunset? Yes, I did. I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. How was the experience? Hmm. 
How was it? How was the how was the experience? It was very good. very interesting. It was very interesting. It was wonderful. It was yeah. uh -huh, it was awesome. It was wonderful. It was wonderful to see the sunset. Yes. Okay, so hey, did you go on a picnic? <sighs> No, no, I didn't. Not really. Hey, did you go swimming in the pool? Yes, yes, I did. Yes, you did. I... Did you have a bacha barbecue? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I... <laughs> did you go fishing? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Did you tour the city? No. No, you didn't? No, I didn't. Did you go to the lake? No, I didn't. And you say, yes, you did. No, you didn't. Hey, did you visit the museum? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. So, did you see a movie? Mm, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Did you, did you, did you go start gazing? Oh my yes. Yes, I did. yes, you did. I did. Yeah. Did you have a road trip? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Did you make an apple pie? No, no I didn't. didn't. No, you didn't. Did you read a book? Yes, I yes. did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Did you ride a horse? Yes, I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> hey, no. did you eat a watermelon? Yes, yes, yes I, I did. did. <laughs> did you plant vegetables? No, no I, didn't. I didn't. Did you pick up mushrooms? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Did you revise English? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> okay, hopefully you did it. Hopefully, and that's it, right? So I will stop sharing because I have another one. Mm. Yeah, I have this one. Give me one second, please. Okay, Daniel, so we share it and we will see what's coming now. Okay, so now there is some vocabulary that we need to learn. Okay, choose the correct answer. What do you see over here in the picture? Beach. 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 I beach. see the beach. What do you see Hi. in the second one? Sure. Beach ball or beach chair? Beach, 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 beach volleyball or beach football? Beach volleyball. Beach volleyball. Beach, uh, let me see, pine tree or palm tree? Palm tree. Palm tree. Sailing or surfing or surfing? Surfing. Surfing. Sailing or windsurfing? Same. Same. Snorkeling or scuba diving? No, snorkeling. Handball or water polo? Water, water polo. polo. Swimsuit or swimming trunks? Swimming. Swimming. Uh, sunscreen or sun hat? Sun, sun hat. hat. 
Hi. Folding chair or armchair? Arm chair. 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 Folding chair? Folding yes. chair. Yes. Yes. The detached house or mobile home? Uh, mobile home. Mobile home. Uh, Caravan or van? Caravan. Basketball or beach ball? Beach ball. Basketball? Beach ball. Beach ball. Yes. Spain or fork? And the last one, tent. Oh, no, 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 we have more. No. Tent or van? Tent. Rowing or kayak? Kayak. 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 What, water kayak or jet ski? Uh, jet ski. Uh, white water kayak. Ah, White water. White, white water kayak. White water. Jet ski or water ski? Jet ski. Jet ski. Jet ski. Jet ski. Uh, water sky or sunglasses. goggles or sunglasses? Sunglasses. 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 Okay, so we're going to check it. We are done with it. And let's see the how we got the average, okay? So I will share the link in case you want to continue working in this part later, not now, but later. It will be in the chat. It's in the chat just in case you want to work over it uh, tonight. Now, I will give you five minutes so that you can um, practice a little bit your speech. Les voy a dar cinco minutos para que practiquen la tarea que les quedó ayer. Okay. De que nos cuenten uh, qué es lo que hicieron, qué es lo que no hicieron en vacaciones. Ok, van a tener cinco minutos. Después de estos cinco minutos, todos van a participar. Ok. Ok, okay. five minutes.
practice, please. So you are almost, um, I hope you're almost ready to start. Okay, one minute. Okay, so we're going to start now. Five minutes are gone. Remember this, this was combo assignment. And I will do it by asking every single person in the class. Roxana, please go ahead. Roxana. Yes. Uh, okay, Roxana, you, you start. Okay. Last August vacation, my family and I went to Costa Azul Beach, which is located near Metalio in Sonsonare. We really had a fun time, enjoyed a beautiful sunset, the sea, and delicious food. Live fresh fish and coconut water. I thank God for the good vacation we had. Fantastic. You say coconut water, but um, you it's better to say coconut milk. Uh, coconut milk. Yeah. Uh, it's the, no, it's the, uh, el agua de coco? Yeah. It's coconut milk. Yeah, that's right. Ah, uh, okay. But that was excellent, Roxana. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, I have Alex. Okay. On vacation, we went for two days and one night to the Aso Beach Club. It is in Conchalio La Libertad. It is a very nice, safe and clean place. We got right of stress. We ate conch, uh, we, we ate shell concha, co concha cocktail and eat respective fried fish. The wall, the wall was very nice. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you very much. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. 
Ana García. Ya, yes, teacher. En las vacation. I get up late. And I get up late. And I stay at home. Yes, one day I went to shopping with my sister. I bought a lot of personal things. And we went to eat my favorite food. Only that, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ana. I think it's enough. Uh, Feliciana. Okay. On last vacation, I visited my mother in the city of La Union. Sisters, we celebrate my mother's birthday. We really enjoyed the time with the Spanish family. And I didn't go to the beach, then I didn't go to the fair because it was too far for me to go. That's it, teacher. It was too far for you to go. Thank you, Rose. Uh, let me see. Abigail? Elizabeth? Mm. Alex is already done. Ana Garcia. Ana Guevara. Sí. Okay. Okay. Lisa. <laughs> okay, Ana, go ahead. Um, I went to visit my family in Morazan and spent a very pleasant time with them. Yes, sorry. <laughs> You had a great time with them. Thank you. Mm, Carlos David. Abigail. Okay, Abigail, I got it. Diana Sarai. Emma Débora. Hello, Emma. Go ahead, please. Yes. Um, in, the, in my vacation, I visited my grandmother and visited my friend. My friend lives in Lode City. And Solamente. And that's it, okay. Now, I need some volunteers. Volunteers. This is your time. Thank you, Ruth. Yeah. On my summer vacation, my husband, parent visited and we went for a walk to various places, including the beach where we had a lot of fun. Quite good. Thank you, Ruth. Now, anybody else in the group? Me, teacher. Thank you, Joanna. Mm, my last attention was at the Filipino beach with my family and friends. Then we a seafood, and I also visit my family in Sudan, where we went to a pool, some more fun, nice, and cold. Funny life. Quite good. So you spend your a great time with your husband. Anybody else? No more volunteers. Yo, teacher. Thank you, William. Um, what I did on vacation. Um, on August holidays, 
visit to my brother. He lives, he lives in Sonsonare. That day, we had roast chicken for lunch. At night, we had pupusas for dinner. The next day, we come back home. At home, we saw a family movie. Solamente. Thank you, William. Thank you pretty much. Okay, anybody okay. else who wants to participate? No more. No more. Okay, so we're going to get back with something here. Give me one second, please. Okay, so now you talked about vacation time. You did it. You did a great job. Okay. We're gonna listen to this expression, I mean, to this part, and later I will let you know what's coming for tomorrow. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article titled, Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Aaron. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. I really didn't like camping, but I learned a lot. Okay, so listen, what's coming the next week? Uh, I mean, uh, the tomorrow, not ne next week. But tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to start by having the, or uh, having a presentation on how to use the pass of the verb to be. But now, let me tell you what's coming in a minute. Okay. Para el día de mañana, ustedes van a preparar una autobiografía y una biografía de alguien que ustedes admiran. Okay, okay. eso es para el día de mañana. Pueda que usted, pueda que yo le pida la biografía o la autobiografía. Tienen que prepararse con ambas, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, now, we're going to start, we're going to, let me see, because, because we still have like, 
20 minutes. Why don't we work on that? ¿Por qué no trabajamos ahorita en eso? En obtener la biografía y la autobiografía. Y, y perdón, y la autobiografía. Trabajemos en eso. Mientras okay, yo paso el listado. Ok, teacher. Asistencia. Y uh, listos porque le voy a preguntar más o menos cómo va esa biografía o esa um, eh, orobiografía. Orobiografía en biografía. Teacher. Tell me, eh, Roxana. Las, las clases las vamos a reponer día viernes y sábado, ¿verdad? No, sería viernes y lunes. Ah, viernes y lunes. Viernes y lunes, ¿ok? Muy bien, muy bien. Gracias. Ok, bye. Eh, ¿Listos? ¿Cómo dicen, por ejemplo, yo nací en 1990 en inglés? I was born, I was born, I was born in 1990. 1990. Uh, I was born y de ahí dicen dónde nacieron y nos cuentan un poco de, de su historia. Ok, eso es una autobiography. Ok. Ok, so take your time. I will check list attendance. Abigail. Ana María García. Present teacher. Ana María Emily. Present teacher. Uh, Carlos David Santos. Daniela Alejandra Martínez. Diana Saraí. Emma Débora. Present. Thank you. Eva Margarita. Gabriela Lisette. Present teacher. Y Gabriela Lisette. Um, Jacqueline Jeanette. Present teacher. Joana Guadalupe. Present. Carla Olivia. Present. Melissa Giselle. Present teacher. Raúl. Present teacher. Rosa Elizabeth. Okay, Raúl is present. Rosa Elizabeth. Rosa Feliciana. Present teacher. Roxana Yanira. Present teacher. Ruth Noemi. Present. Zaira Abigail. Sara Vanessa. Silvia Noemi. Stephanie Carolina. Present teacher. Swanny. Present. Wilder. Present teacher. William Vladimir. Present. William Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay. John C. Stephanie. Present teacher. And Jenny Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. So let us keep working a little bit uh, about, about it. I will give you, let me see, five. Mm, let, us, let us work a little bit. Let us work during seven minutes, then I will ask about the advancement. Siete minutos y les voy a preguntar acerca de los avances. ¿Cómo van? Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher.
Okay, Diana, don't worry. I got your message in the chat, okay?
Okay, I think you have some time um, to to get some ideas, right? About about a biography or about an autobiography. Now I don't know if you got if you got uh, like something to start with. Let's see. William, I don't know if you tell me about the information you got, William. Hola, teacher. Estoy trabajando en la biografía, autobiografía. Uh, did you get some info? Ya tiene algún adelanto, William? Uh, yes, le puedo decir alguna. Okay. Okay. Uh, my name is William. I was born in Sonsonara, December 6, 1983. My family has nine siblings. I studied in Sonsonara and to seven grade. Hasta ahí lo llevo. Excellent, William. Pretty good. That's a good beginning. Good. Uh, Roxana okay. wants to participate. Roxana. Yes. My name is Roxana. Mm -hmm. I was born in 1964 mm -hmm. in the San Salvador city. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Aguilares in a family of merchants. When I was child, I used to sell every kind of stuff we had in the store. That's all. <laughs> Oh, okay, so I think you are going to include some extra info for tomorrow, right? Okay. Yeah. Hey, no, but that was fantastic. And also, remember, si usted mira, digamos, um, a un, alguien famoso, pues puede mencionarlo, la información de esa persona mañana. Uh -huh. so, uh, algunos deciden como elegir, digamos, a, a mamá o a papá o al esposo. O a la esposa, y eso también es válido. Ok, thank you, Roxana. Now, anybody else who wants to share uh, some info? Suena muy bien, las dos personas que han participado. Suena que el día de mañana va a haber algo mucho, mucho mejor elaborado, más, mm, mm, con mucha con más, más práctica y con más información. Ok, Ro. Ro, uh, let me see, Rosa, go ahead. Okay, <clears throat> it's the biography. Carmen Arqueta born on August 19, 1968, 60, 68, in the Esparta, La Unión, El Salvador. Very well known in the place. Admitted for Baines, very Yes, admire for being very hardworking and honest. Also, he come from a very humble family. He fought for his children, <laughs> and that's it, teacher. Pretty good. Hey, I, I don't know if, if you knew in advance how to say humilde in English. No sé si ya, habían, eh, ya sabían cómo decir humilde en inglés. O, no. Ok, so, fíjense, eso, eso es lo bonito de estas actividades. De que uno lanza un reto a los participantes, porque eso es un reto. Y uno les dice, bueno, necesito una biografía y una autobiografía. Entonces, ustedes empiezan a elaborar cierto material y van descubriendo. Eso es inglés. Ir descubriendo palabras, estructuras, aprendérselas. Y dentro de que dentro de unos dos, tres meses, su inglés, o oh, bueno, al pasar este nivel, ya su inglés ya va a haber incrementado. Ok, Ana García. Yes, teacher. Autobiografía. I'm Ana García. I was born in. 1990, and I lived in Awachapan. I had four brothers, 
and two sisters. And then we grew up in the city of Tacuba. Okay, so that's a good beginning, Anna. Thank you very much. And we have Alex. Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Go ahead with it, Alex. This is my bi my biography, Alex Belloso. I was born on December 28, eighty-seven in San Salvador, El Salvador. I am the second of my brothers. I had a very nice childhood. I graduated as an automotive mechanic, but I specialized in automotive painting. I am currently married and have uh, three children. I am 35 years old. The person I admire the most is my father, since he saw me from a young age to work and be responsible. At home, I have a normal life. I go to church with my family and I like to help people. This is my story. Excellent, Alex. Very good. Now, ¿ya sabían cómo Thank decir you. niñez? ¿Cómo, de, ¿Cómo decir niñez en inglés? No. ¿O lo descubrieron Chilhood. ahora? Childhood. 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 Ya ven cómo vamos llenándonos un poquito más de vocabulario. Ok. Bueno, de hecho, el día de mañana vamos a tener esas presentaciones. Eh, vamos a ver un poquito acerca del verbo bien pasado. Creo que ya ustedes están familiarizados con eso, pero mañana lo vamos a ver un poquito como más directamente. Ok. Eh, si no hay preguntas, comentarios. Respecto al día de mañana. Recuerden, día viernes vamos a estar conectados. Tenemos clases por eh, debido a la, a la clase que es que que se debió reprogramar por problemas técnicos que yo tuve pero pues ya el día lunes prácticamente estaríamos cerrando con este nivel de inglés no questions we're gonna stop on here then let us see tomorrow See you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. Good night, guys.